Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to create a morphing effect animation like this using Blender and Flip Fluids add-on. We are going to use force field feature of Flip Fluid. Let's get started and select the default cube and rename this cube to cube dash domain. and apply flip fluids add-on and make it a domain by pressing create domain then go to the item tab and scale it up 10 on x axis 10 on y axis and 11 on z axis Press 1 to go to front viewport and now I will create fluid objects so I will add some more cubes add mesh and cube and call this cube as cube dash fluid dash 1 and scale around 0.25 on x axis 1 on y axis and 2 on z axis and then using the move tool bring it down to the bottom edge of the domain i will duplicate this cube dash fluid dash one four times to create four more fluid objects so i will press shift d and i have this second duplicate of this and i will move it around two blender units on the right side so i will press g x two and then again i will create a duplicate of this object by pressing shift D and I will move it to blender units on the right side by pressing G X 2 then I will again uh, reduplicate this first fluid object by pressing shift D and I will move this duplicated object to blender units on the left side by pressing g x minus 2 now i will duplicate this again by pressing shift d and i will move the duplicated item again on the left side two blender units by pressing g x minus 2 so let me rename these cube fluids to 1 2 3 4 and 5 So you, you can see I have cube dash fluid 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So these are these 5 fluid objects. Now I will add morphing objects. So I will be using 2 text objects and 1 hard shape. So let me add our text by going to add menu and text. And I will scale it up around 15 times so i will press s 1 5 and i will rotate it at 90 degrees on x axis by pressing rx 9 0 and now i will go to edit mode using backspace i will delete all the letters and I will add capital I. Then I will go out to object mode. And now I will change some text properties by going to text properties on the right side. I will change the alignment to center and center. Then I will go to geometry and I will extrude it 
to something like this 0 0.06 and I will add some depth something like 0 0.02 because I need another character so I will duplicate this text object by pressing shift D now I have two text objects and let me rename them to text 1 and text 2 So text 1 will remain as I but text 2 I will make it U. So I will go to edit mode and I will press backspace and I will add capital U. Then I will go out to object mode and I need a third object which will be heart shape so I can get a free heart shape by going to blender kit add-on it's a free add-on if you cannot see blender kit add-on you can go to edit preferences add-ons and you can find blender kit here and you can see the blender kit online asset library is activated so I will select models and I will search for heart. I'm going to use this heart shape. So I will click and it will be downloaded here and we can see it's here heart balloon. Hide the text objects. And let's see what's inside these heart shape. If I expand it on the outliner, I can see I have number of objects here. So I just need heart one. So I will delete this heart balloon by pressing X. And I will also delete this second heart by pressing X and I have this one extra nerves so I will delete this as well if you see this heart has this uh, small uh, line here so I will also delete this line by pressing X scale it up around 15 times so I will press S15 and I will move it down. I will go to front viewport by pressing 1 on num keypad. Bring it to the center. And you can see it's little bit uh, rotated. So I will rotate it little bit on Y axis by pressing R, Y and moving my mouse. So you can just arrange it so it uh, should be in the middle of the scene and I will also activate the visibility of text 1 and text 2. So you can see it's still smaller than the other letters. So I can press S and move my mouse to scale it up a little bit more. So it can match the size of the other letters. So I think something like this should be fine. I will select all these three and I will move them up a little bit. Something like this. Now I will apply flip fluid to the required objects. So I will select one of the fluid objects and I will go to physics properties and apply flip fluid and I will make it 
a fluid object because these will be the fluid objects. Now I have to apply the same flip fluid property of fluid to the remaining four fluid objects. So there is a shortcut which I can use. But before that you need to activate free add-on which is in the preferences add-on and if you write copy you need to activate this one interface copy attributes menu if this is activated then you can select these five fluid objects make sure the first one on which you have applied the fluid property it should be yellow which means it's the active object and after that you can press Control C and you can select the last option copy selected custom properties and it will show you flip fluid select flip fluids and press OK. So now if you check these fluid objects individually you can see all of them have the same flip fluid properties. Later on we will come back and we will change the color attribute for all of them we will give them different colors let's select the morphing objects select the text one object there are very less options here this is because this i and u are still text objects select i and u both the objects and we are going to convert them to meshes so go to object, convert, convert to mesh. As soon both these uh, objects are converted to mesh, we have more options here. So I will select text one and I will apply flip fluid and I will make it a force field and I will reduce the strength to zero and gravity scale to zero and I will apply the same force field uh, properties to U and the heart. Let me rename the heart to heart and select text one just change one more thing here uh, is force field but changed it to volume force now i want to apply the same force field property which is applied on text one to the remaining two objects so i will click and drag on all of them make sure that the text one is yellow in color because this is the active object from which we are going to copy the flip fluid properties now press ctrl c and select the last option copy selected custom properties and select flip fluids press ok so now we can see we have applied the same flip fluid properties to the remaining force field objects you must be thinking why we have change the strength to zero for the force field this is because we are going to apply different strength to these objects at different times this is a bit tricky part but it's easy to understand text one object will exert force field from frame one to frame 120 and then the second shape which is the hard shape will exert the force field from 120 to 240 and the final shape which is text 2 will exert force field from 240 to something like 360 so let me input 360 in the end frame 360 so our total animation is around 360 frames so i will select 
text one let me hide the other shapes and i will go to frame one and after selecting text one i will change the strength to minus 125 and i will make a keyframe here right click insert keyframe then i will move my playhead to frame 120 and till frame 120 the value will remain the same so i will make another keyframe by right clicking insert keyframe I move the playhead to frame 121 which is just the next frame and i will reduce the strength to zero and i will again create a keyframe by right clicking insert keyframe so in this way the text one or the first shape will be a force field till frame 120 then it will not exert any force after that so let me hide text one then i will select heart this heart will have no force till frame 120 so while my playhead is at 120 i will go to strength and i will keep it on zero and i will right click and insert keyframe i will move the playhead to 121 just the next frame and i will increase the strength to minus 125 and i will right click insert keyframe and till frame 240 the heart will keep ex uh, exerting the force field so while playhead is on frame 240 i will again make a keyframe here by right clicking insert keyframe and the power or strength is still minus 125 i will move the playhead to 241 just the next frame and i will make the strength zero and i will again make a keyframe by right clicking and insert keyframe so you can see in this way the heart shape is exerting the force field from frame 121 to 240 now i will turn off the heart shape and i will select the text 2 which is the final shape and till frame 240 it will have no force field so strength is zero and while playhead is at frame 240 i will create our keyframe here by right clicking insert keyframe and then i will move the playhead to frame 241 just the next frame and i will increase the strength of u to minus 125 and i will right click and insert keyframe and then i will move my playhead to frame 360 and i will again create a keyframe here by right clicking and insert keyframe so in summary text 1 is exerting the force field from frame 0 to 120 and then the heart is exerting the force field from 120 to 240 and the character u or the third shape is exerting the force field from 240 to 360 let me select cube dash domain and do a quick bake at resolution of 65 just to see if our animation is creating fluid or not bake i cannot bake it because i need to save the file so let me save the file so i have saved the file so let's bake by pressing bake we can see all the frames have been baked and if we move our playhead so we can see the fluid is entering into letter i 
it stays there for some time and then it it enters the heart shape and then it's going to enter into the u shape but there is a slight problem we have some fluid uh, leaking around we can quickly fix this problem we just need to select the text 1 and text 2 and heart these three shapes and we are just going to slightly modify this one value anti gravity change the gravity scale to 0 for text 1 and text 2 and also for the heart shape so this anti gravity will be 0 so as we have set up the fluid system and fluid system is working properly we can finally do our random color system which is the new feature of flip fluids attribute feature so i can select cube dash domain and i can go to flip fluids simulation properties and i can go to flip fluid surface and select color attribute and enable mixing and i will change smoothing value to 4 mix rate to 0.1 and mix radius to 3 then i will select the fluid objects which are five fluid objects cube dash fluid dash one and as I told you we will come back here and we will select random colors so select cube dash fluid dash one and give it a random color and cube dash fluid dash two and just give it another color cube dash fluid dash three cube dash fluid dash four cube dash fluid dash five yeah any colors you can give and then select fluid dash surface and go to shading workspace and while fluid dash surface is still selected create a new material i can call it fluid dash surface material and you need to add another node here so you can go to add menu and search for a node which is already here in front attribute click and bring it here and join color with the base color and in name write flip underscore color you have to write it exactly like this otherwise it's not going to work to increase color intensity you can add another node here search for it and it's called hue and saturation this one and if you want you can increase the saturation value to something like two or three and then you can go back to layout workspace and you can activate the viewport shading and go to world properties and change color to white so you can see the render and also go to ray visibility and uncheck the camera the colors are not there because you need to re-bake this uh, simulation so select your cube dash domain and go to physics properties and reset the bake and this time i will bake it at a resolution of 100 so let me bake it again So all frames have been baked, you can see here. Uh, let me hide the morphing objects, which is text one, 
text to and the heart and uh, let me play the animation but before that i can activate the rendered viewport shading so i can see if the colors have been generated and yeah you can see colors have been generated let me play the animation So you can see the animation is working properly along with the beautiful random colors and one reminder that my final demo animation was baked around resolution of 300 that will give you more better quality fluid. For render settings you can select your own render settings and render it out as you like and that's the end of this tutorial. If you want to get this exact file, it will be available on my Gumroad. And if you don't understand anything, you can ask me questions in the comment section and I will definitely answer your questions. And see you in the next video.